good one. Huh? Yeah, you ready for breakfast? Yeah. Good morning, guys. I woke up and I came to grab some coffee, and now we're gonna have breakfast. Come on, the baby have been up for a little while now. We both um, got a spicy deluxe and some nuggets. So we both did? What? The nuggets? Yeah, that, that's <laughs> what you fucking told Cal. You're kidding with me, right? You're kidding? You're gonna share? <laughs> yeah! Okay, I'm gonna start eating those nuggets. No! <laughs> okay, bye. home now. Mine is always cheese and lettuce only and I add ketchup. Got mine is over here and gets it with everything. This is got my burger and then the nuggets in here <laughs> that we left from eating in the car. Hey guys, I just got out of the shower, brushed my hair and I now have to pick up <laughs> So I have to clean up this room, um, the office, and then I have a grocery haul slash what's in my fridge uh, quarantine edition, and then I don't know what else, so we'll see. Okay, so clean the room. I feel great. It looks so much better. You guys have no idea. <sighs> it's just like a weight lifted off my shoulder. Okay, so you come in behind the door. We have all of the bags, the fanny packs, diaper bags. Gummit's bike is here because he bikes. Um, we have our fan and it's really dark. Don't look. Trash and then this is the diaper changing station. We have the hatch baby. Um, so we wait Papa Pacino here. We change his diaper and everything. Um, then right here I have all of his daily products. There's a pinky because we are always looking for a pinky. Baby oil, um, linen spray, his lotion. This is a roller with essential oils that I made that calms him down. Um, and then the sleepy eyes um, so he can go memes. His diaper rash cream is in my diaper bag right now. Um, wipes, of course. Then who is this owl diffuser, night light, and sound machine? Down here we have wipes. Down there we have baby brushes, uh, nail clippers, all like first aid kits. Um, then down here we have uh, a few toys, some of his medicines. Um, up here we have all the diapers. Here we have his shoes some more like little diaper bags and wipe bags and then down there is just some decoration that my mom got for him. Then our room, I mean our bed, <laughs> that is Papa Chino's size. Um, the nightstand and my little vanity. Oh and then of course over here next to the vanity is our closet. Okay guys so still cleaning this room 
It looks really bad. Um, but I wanted to show you guys a little package that I got sent um, from this company called The Only One Piece. Um, the business owner is Mike. He reached out to me on email. He had found my Instagram and saw that I was a mom. And he um, started um, a kid's clothing line. And so he wanted me to try some of his stuff out, kind of review it, get some feedback. Um, that way he can launch his business, right? So he sent it in the most adorable packaging. How cute is this bag? And it's like so useful, you know, like you can put your baby's clothes in here, dirty clothes in here, or toys, whatever, everything and anything. I mean, it's a bag right and it's super super cute and then this is the logo so adorable so again follow them on instagram i'll leave them uh link down below and then this is a little note that he wrote so i'm going to show you guys the products he sent me two okay so he sent me this fur cloth which is oh my god just the softest material ever it's honestly pretty big. Um, I would say our regular bird cloth is probably um, around this size, so it still adds quite a little bit more, um, at least the ones that I buy. Um, I can't explain this material, it is incredibly soft. And it is like double sided. I can like separate the material. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying. But anyways, it's so soft. We use it all the time. Super great. Then he sent over this one seat for Papacino. Um, first of all, I'm going to say it's great. Um, the only thing, and I'm thinking because it's white, it's a little see-through. Um, that's the only thing that I told him was like, the white one is see-through. Um, doesn't really matter to some people um it's super you know fresh it includes the little gloves here mittens so that your baby doesn't scratch himself super super cute then the zipper is actually hidden you can hide the zipper you see that one doesn't hurt your baby the size as well yes is 6 to 12 months and that was another thing that we had. Um, maybe making the sizes different. Um, of course, you can do it straight because Papa Gino wore it and like really put it to the test. Um, the zipper comes all the way down here. It is scrunched in at the little foot, and then it has this two non-slip. And then the foot is also like double padded, um, and it is softer. Let me show you guys. It's so soft. I want to say that this is cotton, if I'm not wrong. Um, and then on the other side, it's just a regular, super soft material. And it has the logo, it's all white, 6 to 12. Um, it did fit Papachino big. Um, of course, his feet are not this big. He's not this long. And so this was just kind of like in the back. You can kind of tell because where it's dirty is where his knees were bended at. Um, but oh my gosh, I can't wait. For him to like come out with more stuff this is actually the material 95 percent tensile i want to say and then five percent standard so definitely definitely go follow them on instagram again i'm gonna leave their link down below another thing that's super exciting i'm obsessed with my lippy case you guys I know a lot of people are into the pop socket. I personally never tried the pop socket. I just didn't want to. I tried like other rings and things for your phone. This has been my favorite. Look, it doesn't fall off the case. Um, if you have to grab a million of things, you can. And it doesn't feel like you've been or carrying your phone. Cause I would always have to carry my phone like this. So then it's like harder because your phone is already taking up your whole hand space. And maybe you have seen other people using loopy cases. I love loopy. Um, and they were able to give me a code for you guys. And so I'm going to leave here on the screen my code and how much it will get off. 
and I love it. I have had it almost all this year. Um, the only other piece, I have like an all clear one that I've been using on my phone, but this is my favorite one. And then it's super cute. Like, I love it so much. Um, I know that they also have like different um, of the bands. They have like different colors and everything and so many other designs. They're so, so cute. So I will put my code and their link for their website and their Instagram page. Okay guys, it's obviously nighttime. We did pretty good, honestly. Um, we just have probably like 5% left to clean in this room, but we're gonna call it for tonight. Now I'm gonna go show you guys what we got at the, the groceries earlier today and then, like I said, what we have in our fridge. Okay, so in here we have a, uh, oh, green beans, bananas, baby carrots. Over here we have tomatoes. We got these pack of eggs. We bought some chicken breast, some avocados and some baby formula. Then we got a gallon of milk for Gamma and a gallon of milk for me. Okay, and then in our fridge, we have drumsticks, pork chops, what is, uh, chicken thighs. We have just all different types of meat for like, Steaks, ground beef, um, to make some carne asada. We have some mini corn dogs back there. Ice cream that's gamas. We have waffles, some frozen veggies that we use to make fried rice and fish. And then down here we have a snack that my friend Yanela made for us the other day. I have some salsa there, ham, bologna. I don't remember what's in here. Some leftover food, leftover lemons, avocado. I have my almond milk. I have two of these from Sam's uh, for my protein shakes. Gama has some tea. We have some wok, some salsa, some rice that we cook, um, lemon, some onion, uh, shrimp. We have broccoli, carrots, tomatoes, a green pepper, we have cabbage, ginger, more onion, and then on this side, Gama's yogurt, we have butter, there's some garlic cloves in there, thyme, some chorizo left in there, rosemary, asparagus, Philadelphia cream cheese, some yellow cheese. Um, we have garlic, gamas ranch to make some chicken alfredo, gamas pickles, gamas mustard. <laughs> I say gamma because th these are all the things that I don't like, you guys. <laughs> Mayo, some, what is this? Cheddar cheese, I think. Yep. Then we have some apple cider vinegar and some whipped cream. I don't know, I don't like that, but I'm guessing that's what it is. Then in our pantry we have some, these are my healthy chips, my rice cake, uh, some cereal here, and some leftover cereal over here as well. Um, and then this one, ooh, we may need, oh, light is better. We have all the unhealthy things. Chamoy, chocolate, chile and chamoy, chile, peanut butter. It's pretty healthy. Uh, we have to make pancakes back here. We have potato bread for sandwiches and burgers. We have all of our cans here. We have salsa del pato. We have chipotle peppers. We have tomato sauces. Gamma bought a bunch of like canned soups. I don't like them, so he's gonna be eating those. We have some Thai noodles. Gamma also bought himself like some raisins and some mango, like dried mango. I don't like that, sorry. Beans, soup, these I can eat. Um, 
We have like garbanzo beans, a whole bunch of stuff in cans. One little thing of crackers, then this is cappuccino stuff. We have oatmeal, cereals, his cookies that we buy him, um, some Gerber's um, that we get through WIC, and then we have some Pedialytes for him, we have potatoes, we have rice, we have some cookies here, and then this bag of rice that we always buy. And over here we have some pastas, all for lasagna, because I buy like the pack at Sam's that comes with some lasagna, some spaghetti, some of like elbows, and I'm all out of the other ones. Um, so I have three of those left. I have more uh, food for the baby, thank god. Uh, and then Jim here is just like regular seasoning, sriracha, soy sauces, random stuff that we have. Over there is all my baking supplies. These are all extra seasoning sprays. Um, and then this is all of these are seasonings in here. And then we also have this seasoning rack. And then over here we just have um, Ziploc bag, oils, and some chiles all over the place. So I think we're pretty good for the month, to be honest. Um, we just have to be creative and come up with like different meals or meals that there will be leftovers and stuff like that but I'm gonna make a video about that soon too like what we're eating and like what you guys can cook um, to kind of have leftovers kind of like a meal prep video I guess I should have said um, let me think um, I don't think I was gonna add anything else to this video again don't forget to check out the only one piece and loopy cases um i do have now that i remember um like a minute um of another video i had filmed the other day the whole day i had a 24 minute vlog you guys a 24 minute vlog that's so good guess what i forgot to turn on the mic as always so i just took the mic off just to solve that problem um i think i'm just gonna buy a smaller one that I don't have to be turning on all the time. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna, I kinda like put it all together, fast forward it, and, or like the main parts, you know? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and insert that at the end of this. I hope you guys had fun watching us today. Let us know what you guys are doing to not get bored, cause we have been playing chess, checkers, dominoes, <laughs> to kinda, you know, just distract ourselves for a while um and yeah so i hope you guys stay safe god bless you guys and you guys will see us in our next video bye so here are the tacos that we decided to eat saturday um they were some chicken tacos they were so good and of course we put the basic uh taco necessities which is guac salsa cilantro uh onions and of course lemon but we ran out then we decided to head on to the office here puppuccino was clapping because grandma was playing the guitar then we decided to do a practice podcast because we decided we wanted to do our own podcast and we have been playing around with platforms and then we were able to choose one record to make sure it sounded all good um then um this is how i edited over 24 minutes of footage into under 50 something seconds you guys so i'm pretty proud of myself sad because of course i forgot to turn on the mic um otherwise you guys would have a 24 minute vlog so i'm really bummed out but okay 